ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹ ನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿಪುಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 will read chapter 3 the first two topics <clears throat> chapter 3 the virus of attachment how attachment arises when a person contacts an object of being his thought supports it the thought of that object or being may linger or be dismissed if dismissed by chance or choice its image fades away if not and the person allows the thought to remain in his mind a thought flow is initiated and if he further indiscriminately maintains the thought flow he would develop an attachment for the same the longer or stronger the thought flow the more powerful the attachment a boy meets a girl he develops an attachment for her he raises a family he is attached to the members of his family he starts a business he becomes involved attached to it he earns wealth gains name fame power and is bound shackled by them thus his attachments could stretch further into wine women and other indulgences and where there is attachment there is bound to be worry and anxiety stress and strain suffering and sorrow it is a law love versus attachment attachment is rooted in self-centeredness selfishness whereas love is based on selflessness and sacrifice Ironically attachment is passed off as love love is measured essentially by one's identification with others when you become one with another others joy is your joy others sorrow is your sorrow when you contact the world with no personal motives Such an example of true love was seen in an episode in a factory in Mumbai, India. A worker operating a machine got a splinter in his eye by accident. The human resources officer and the resident doctor were taking him for treatment to the hospital. The moment the managing director of the plant heard about it, he pulled out his private mercedes car and rushed him to his personal ophthalmologist for treatment he related to the worker as his own family member that is an expression of true love attachment is opposed to love where one looks into one's personal interest rather than that of another a typical example of attachment also was noticed in mumbai it was a middle class parents attachment to their only son the son was a prodigy in his subject mathematics he obtained a doctorate in mumbai university 
in recognition of his outstanding brilliance, a foreign university offered him a prestigious scholarship for advanced study and research in his subject. His friends and well-wishers were delighted at the recognition and offer. Every detail was worked out for his departure. But his parents were too attached to him and refused to let him go. The boy and his well-wishers desperately tried to convince his parents to avail of the unique opportunity for his success and progress in life. And that would not be just for himself, but for the advancement of the subject and the community at large. No amount of persuasion and advice could alter their personal stand. The parents stuck to their selfish interests. We want our son to remain with us. That is attachment the reverse of love. Undoubtedly, parents are fond of their children and do care for them, but their selfishness permeates their love and turns it sour. The beautiful emotion of love transforms into the ugly form of attachment. The children resist it desisted, all ending up in confrontation, even separation. Study this equation carefully. Love plus selfishness equals attachment. Attachment minus selfishness equals love. The world is infested with the deadly trait of attachment. The great English writer-poet Oliver Goldsmith in his novel, The Vicar of Wakefield, loudly proclaims, there is no love left in the world. And what is friendship but a name, a charm that lulls to sleep, a shade that follows wealth or fame, but leaves the wretch to weep. And love is still an emptier sound, the modern fair one's jest, on earth unseen, are only found to warm the turtle's nest. What follows attachment is possessiveness. When you are attached to something, you become possessive towards it. Attachment and possessiveness is the true cause for separation and divorce between spouses, between any two persons. <clears throat> The virus of attachment. How attachment arises. The moment there is the contact with the world, The thought supports the contact. The thought continues to linger. The object is moved. The person has moved. The object is moved, but the thoughts continue to linger. This lingering thoughts is what causes attachment. It all starts with a thought, he says, in chapter 2, Bhagavad Gita. Same thing, the, that's, the, that's the reference here. Where we, where we have seen the ladder of fall. Verses 62, 
63, chapter 2, Bhagavad Gita. We have seen that. How attachment happens? How does it start? It all starts with a, a thought. All it starts with a, a thought. That thought can be dismissed or you will continue to entertain the thought. As long as you, the moment you contact the world, that contact cannot be avoided. The lingering can be avoided. Because as soon as you wake up, the senses are awake, it starts contacting the world, the stimuli enters in and it starts reproducing thoughts. You cannot, you cannot avoid this. This is something, this is an impossible thing. But what you can do is the, the, the lingering thought. So he says, either by choice or by chance, if you dismiss it, you are okay. It doesn't matter. Even by chance, if you dismiss, luckily dismiss Manavuda, you are still okay, he said. Because you are you are saved. Either by choice or by chance, you dismiss it, you are, you are okay. But nevertheless, dismiss it. If you do not dismiss it, that thought that you didn't dismiss, but you continue to relish, that you continue to linger, it develops into a thicker thought flow, a thicker thought flow, a thicker thought flow. So, a thought flow becomes thicker and thicker and thicker at some point of time. All because of what? All because of your full cooperation. It doesn't happen by... It doesn't happen by itself. It just happened, sir. We met and it just happened. Nothing like that and all. Just it, it, Nothing happens like that. If he, unless you cooperate with it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. So what do you do? You cooperate. And the cooperation makes it, makes it stronger and stronger and stronger. We have seen this before. We have seen this methodology any number of times and it is worth reading it any number of times again. Because how much ever you read, we go back and do the how much ever we read, we go back and do the same thing again and again and again. So, it, so, so might as well go through it again also. So, how does it happen? Technically, this is what happens. Dhyayato vishayan pumsaha sangaste shupa jayate sangat sanjayate kamaha kamat krodo bijayate krodat bhavati sammohaha sammoha smriti brahmaha smriti brahmshat buddhinashaha buddhinashat pranashyati. Virus of attachment destroys you completely, ultimately. How does it start? It all starts with a, a thought. You see it, you appreciate it, up to this point there is no problem. You see it, you appreciate it, there is no, there is no problem. After that, if it is mine, it will be nice. At the end of the Maritana, it will be nice. All of them, isn't it? If it is, if it is mine, it will be nice. So how does it start? You see it, and then you start missing it, and then you want to. And then you want to possess it and then comes in the exclusive exclusivity and finally you will say, I cannot live, I cannot live without it. If it is not there, I will die. Three months later, I am dying because of, I am dying because of this. So at one point of time you will die without it, at another point of time you will die with it. So either way, this is called this is called attachment. And how did it start? 
you cooperated with it what is meant by cooperation how do you entertain those thoughts because not thinking analyzing what is it that is what is it that i am seeking out of this to analysis one is the analysis about the object second is self analysis idu rendum pannadhu da cooperation what is meant by cooperation shankar cooperation na two things one is you don't analyze yourself second is you don't analyze what the object is what is analysis about the object the analysis about the object is everything comes as a package everything comes as a package package means package na enna artham something you will like something you will not like there can never be a package where it will be everything in that package is only of your liking so what is it what is analysis about the object or the person the object or the person analysis is number 1 the package number 2 the consequences this is in relation to this is in relation to the analysis in relation to the object self analysis what is self analysis having done this analysis are you okay with this package and are you okay with the consequence the moment you understand the package and the consequence you will never want it you you, you are wanting something if anybody comes and says i am longing for it i am wanting it i can't be without it you understand what they don't know the package they don't know the consequence number 2 even if you tell them the package and the consequence they will not be they will not listen why they will not listen the vega the power of obsession the power of obsession is so much that they will not be able to listen therefore this is what is meant by cooperation so what is meant by cooperation when you do not make this analysis what is analysis the package and the consequences in relation to the object what is self analysis is this what are you okay with this are you okay with this if you understand the consequence and the package you know exactly what you are dealing with there is no expectations where there is no expectation there is no fight there is no separation because you know this is what you have already this is what you had asked for where worry and anxiety expectation pain suffering hurt worry all that comes in is when you are not ready for when you are not ready to accept the package so the problem is not the package the problem is the non acceptance of you now what do you want to do when the package is not of your liking what would you try to do what is the attempt try to change that's why i'm going to talk to them today sir i'm going to talk what no talking is meaningful why because you will talk the other should change the other will talk you should change and both will try to convince the other that we are today we are going to have a meeting what is the meeting all meetings can be over in one minute if you go and say i have accepted i have no expectations problem is over no but meetings don't get over in one minute meetings get over, meetings don't get over at all isn't it janmas after janmas these meetings will continue why because 
you not wanting to accept the package, somehow you will want to modify the package, change the package. As you are trying to modify and change the package, what the other does? Say, you try to change the other and the other tries to change you and uh, both gets hurt. Why? Because nobody understands, sir. Nobody understands. What nobody understands? You want to change the package and nobody is agreeing to your. Sometimes they pretend as though they are changing also. Sometimes they will pretend. And that makes you to believe you are right. Divorce. The divorce starts here only. Separation. It doesn't matter. Any separation. Friendships get separated, parent children get separated, husband wife get separated, any separation. All separation is because of what? You try to change the other and the other also and the other also tries to tries to change at some point of time cannot manage and gives up. At that point of time you will say you go your way, I go. So what is cooperation means? This is cooperation. The moment you analyze it, there is no, there is no problem. But sir, uh, the most important thing in life is love, no? Isn't it? The most important thing in life is love, isn't it? You should love, isn't it? And we don't know what love is or whatever we call as love is attachment. That's what we are going to study the next talk. But sir, if we start thinking and all like this and all, it doesn't make, what is the, then what is that? Then what is this? What is this love? Because life is, what is the most important thing in life? When you are 15, love seems to be Love first of all, isn't it? Love seems to be the most important thing in life. At 50, you will say the most miserable aspect of life is all the miseries of your life is because of now. At one point of time, you will you will support love for everything. At another point of time, you will blame love. And yet it is not love, it is attachment. And how much ever we hear about this attachment, we still continue uh, with our attachment. How much ever we talk about this attachment, how much ever we discuss about this attachment, we still continue to, we still continue to remain in our attachments or going on creating new, 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 new attachments. But I have learned, sir, what this attachment I would drop. Very good. Simultaneously creating, you are dropping this attachment only because you are developing another attachment elsewhere. You follow? So, the entire uh, journey is from one attachment to the other. And then there is the law. What is the law? Where there is attachment, you lose it. If you have lost anything, it's because of attachment. You lose it, attach you lose, detach you. Again, Ramatirtha says it. Attach you lose, detach you. Again, you are going to see all that. How, how it's going to work and all because this whole, uh, this whole topic is, this whole lesson is about the attachment part only. You get attached to something because your hope of happiness is in that. Your hope of happiness, your hope of security is in that. That's why you get attached. Again, attachment is because of what? 
attachment is because you believe your happiness is in that. Wherever you believe your happiness is, you will go and get, you will get attached. To summarize, how attachment happened by you cooperating. Attachment happened by your cooperation. That's all. By you cooperating, you get you get attached. You cannot prevent contacting the world. You need not avoid contacting the world. Because as long as you are alive, you are part of the world. Wherever you go, you are part of the part of the world. It doesn't matter where you are, but definitely wherever you are, you are part of the you are part of the world, and the world will enter you, and you can get attached. Again, we have seen that example. No, the person has left everything and goes and sits in the forests. He is bathing in the river. A traveler comes and sits under the shade of the tree. The sadhu swimming gets out of the river, goes to the traveler and says what? This is my tree. This is my tree. Go and sit under. Go and sit under another tree. This is my tree. The moment you contact the world, thoughts arises. Do not entertain it unintelligently. Or we are where we are today, we have entertained it unintelligently. And the whole world is designed to what? And the whole world is designed to what? To make you as unintelligent as possible. So that you can get attached. Make you so unintelligent, so dumb as possible. So that no thinking should, no thinking should happen. Isn't it? As the marketing. Isn't it? Other marketing advertisement, you should not, you should not give that person a chance to, to think. Go and go and just bulldoze it so that the fellow, as soon as he enters the shop, he has to believe that he can't live without this. He can't live without it. That person has to be made to believe. Even if you go to the supermarket, all the useful things will be at the lowest shelf. Where you have to sit and bend and do yoga sana to take it out, isn't it? All the harmful things are there at the eye level where you can just where you can just take it and put it, take it and put it, take it and put it, and then come home only to realize what. You will all have one away, isn't it? So oh, many things aren't even. Why? The world, the way in which human beings are operating today is to make a person as impulsive as possible. Get a human being, make him as impulsive as possible. In this scenario, we are talking about consequence, package, internal analysis, Self-analysis, analyzing the object and the, the world, etc. How this is going to work, we don't know, but uh, uh, we are still talking as though it is going to, as though it is going to work. Why? Because this is for one hour. Once in a once in a week, this is for one hour, isn't it? In the one hour liye, breakfast, coffee, mails, messages, phone call, in between, isn't it? So what is this knowledge compared to rest of the 
what is the time that this knowledge going in is a we rest of the rest of the time that you do so what happens is what the attachment goes on attachment goes on increase attachment means without it i cannot live attachment means with it you cannot live attachment means without it you cannot live this is called attachment kuda irundalum kashtam illa nalum kashtam that is why you don't know what to do with attachment that's why you don't know whether to get rid of it or to to so because if you get rid of it one pain if you are holding on to it another pain therefore attachment results in in pain now comes the next topic love versus attachment in this topic love versus attachment we are going to define the two emotions one is love another is the opposite of opposite of love the methodology that is adopted is what is not love will be spoken so much so that the opposite of it you understand it as love the methodology is very difficult to define white lovers so what they do they keep defining what 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 not it is what all you think as love it will be explained as it is not it is not love at the end of it you understand what love is what is love love is you do something for the welfare of the other attachment is you use the other for your welfare again love is you do something for the welfare of the other in attachment you make use of the other for for your welfare looking at you is giving me happiness therefore keep staring at me don't go out of my sight okay ram subramanian padne irundha nalla irukku therefore what should happen don't leave don't leave my my sight this is called using the other for this is called using the other for your pleasure because if the other goes away your pleasure your pleasure goes therefore you keep the other why do you keep the other you keep the other because the other is giving you pleasure this is called attachment and yagya valkya tells maitri you constantly use the other in attachment the focus is on your happiness in love the focus is on in love the focus is on what the welfare of the other don't say happiness again i repeat in attachment in attachment the focus is on your happiness in love the focus is on 
the welfare of the other. It means even if you have to be cruel, you will be able to be cruel because that's what the welfare lies in. So in attachment, focus is on your happiness. In love, the focus is on the welfare of the other. Is the fundamental difference. What is beneficial for the other? What is good for the other? What is going to help the other to become a better person? That is love. What is attachment? Attachment is varying degrees of comfort. Satisfaction in exclusive ownership. A satisfaction in exclusive domination. Marriages today has become exclusive ownership and domination. You are married, no? Love. You love me, no? It's a threat now, isn't it? Don't you love me? And by mistake, if you say yes, you are finished. Why? Because rest of the lifetime you have to dance according to the according to the tunes of the other. Why? Because love. Huh? What do you call that? So, attachment is a domination. What happens in love? Your presence is comforting to the other in love. In attachment, your presence is suffocating to the other. Anybody wishing the welfare will be comfortable. Anybody using the other will be suffocated. So in attachment, you are using the, using the other. What is using the other means? Why can't the other understand I'm in a bad mood now, sir? Why can't the other understand that I am sad? Why can't the other understand that I am in a bad mood, depressed? Okay, when the other is depressed in a bad mood, will are you even able to recognize that? No, isn't it? Because everybody is so preoccupied with themselves. So, when I am sad, the other, using the other as a tool to get out of my sadness is called attachment. Wanting the other for what? I am sad. I am in pain. I am in sorrow. I am in suffering. I need somebody to help me. I need to use somebody to get out of this. And this using somebody to get out of this is called? What is this called? Attachment. And what is the result of attachment? The law. That the law doesn't change. That way. Law and knowledge doesn't change in Artha. Amendment law voting the law and change Isn't it? There are laws that you can keep changing. You can bring amendment after amendment in the Supreme Judge Boy, Artha Judge on the Artha Bench on the they can bring about an amendment, but there are such there are certain laws that doesn't. That doesn't change. That's why it's called Sanatana, eternal. Even in law, you should understand. Whenever we talk about Vedanta, we use the word Sanatana. Eternal. Eternal means not subject to, not subject to change. Distinct and different from Sanatana is three Sanskrit words you remember. Then I'll give the English equation also. Law na the Purunjakun. So every time when we use the word law in Vedanta, you should remember that. Sanatana, eternal law. Then comes Nutana. Nutana means new. 
the third one is puratana old old other than tradition culture and rule so there is something called old puratana and then there is something called nutana the new and then there is something called sanatana inga namba enna pathi pesrom we 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 neither talk about the nutana neither we are concerned about the puratana we are concerned about the sanatana and what the sanatana say the law doesn't change what is the law you use the other the other will you use the other the other will leave you use the other other leaves opposite of that is wishing the welfare thinking about the welfare wishing the welfare if you have to think about the welfare if you have to wish about the welfare you require identification with other so in love the identification is with the other in attachment the identification is with yourself are you able to understand the difference now in attachment the identification is with one's own self in love the attach the, the identification is with the other identification implies welfare what should be done for the welfare of the other you have the courage you have the conviction you have the strength to do it that is love again i repeat what is good for the other what is welfare for the other you have the courage you have the conviction you have the energy all this is called love opposite of that is there is no there is no love at all remember this the biggest mistake that the generations are making is they think is love is natural infatuation selfishness is natural remember that love love is not natural love comes through love comes through hard work of dropping your selfishness love and all doesn't come naturally but the whole generation even today even in this classroom also everybody will be believing love is love is natural love doesn't come naturally infatuation comes naturally attraction comes naturally because love involves dropping love involves dropping selfishness is dropping selfishness natural if then how can you say love is natural love is not natural it takes lot of it takes lot of hard work but the poet will make you to believe the movie will make you to believe the stories will make you to believe your own experiences will make you to believe what love is love is natural love is not actual for love involves love involves dropping selfishness if dropping selfishness is natural vengada chellam class alla vaanave vaana isn't it so many classes so many teaching so much of tapas karma bhakti gyanam sadhana chatushtaya sampat that uh, i don't know what all we are talking all that is not required at all if dropping selfishness is natural it is not natural if dropping selfishness is not natural what you should understand love is not natural abdina all along what is my love sanatana says whether you take it or whether you accept it or not like it or not the sanatana law says it is what you call as love is only an attachment 
what you called as love is only an attachment for you didn't have any any love in attachment you will ask whom to love yaar sir love bolno in true love there is no whom whoever comes in contact with you you will be loving remember this there are simple differences whom to love that whom becomes meaningful only in attachment la tha whom is important whom to love you have to love everybody what is whom to love means what isn't it illa sir sila perala i cannot i cannot love then whom to love that's where your conditions comes in whom to love then you put conditions to love i don't know what all conditions isn't it color name fame i i don't know what all goes into making a person lovable isn't it what makes a person lovable identification that person is in suffering and that person needs some help and i am going to be of some help that's all you need to love everybody deserves that love are you able to follow clear we do not follow kudadu but in the classroom we have to say all this things clear all this thing should not be told but it is being told also so so what is the whom to love sir the other doesn't matter in love you can be of some help to the other whosoever the whosoever that is if affection is only towards a single person or towards a single group it is selfish in the vedanta class la irukra varaikum i will be very affectionate as soon as i get out of vedanta class i will i will develop hatred eh? as long as they are catering to me i will be loving the moment they stop catering i will stop associating and then what is the difference between love and attachment in attachment you will be worried about the other who the other is in love it doesn't matter who the other is are you able to follow in attachment you will be worried about who the other person is in love you will not be worried about who the other person is that's where love makes it so that's where love is so beautiful love is, it is it is the most extraordinary thing that a human being can can have is this love this identification that endless reservoir of energy comes from love only love is that endless reservoir of energy it comes from comes from love comes from affection but today it is today it is draining it is causing so much of worry anxiety stress etc why is what we are discussing endless reservoir comes from love why because in love the other doesn't matter in attachment you ask whom to love in true love whoever comes in contact with you you are of some you are of some self help to the other in attachment you necessarily have to weigh the transaction in attachment you necessarily have to weigh the transaction what is the transaction transaction and ibir bunu what is transaction transaction na profitable ah irukuma isn't it transaction profitable ah irukum isn't it transaction win win isn't it win lose lose win la kedai win win isn't it 
in attachment in attachment the transaction comes in that is why when there is no reciprocation you will be hurt the very fact that you are uh, hurt because of there is no reciprocation means it is it's a transaction it is attachment in love there is no in love there is no transaction there is no suffer are you able to follow from another angle i am saying so many things then then you note panni vechukonga something will click kandipa something will something will bring a change in attachment reciprocation becomes important that is why when somebody gives you a gift you have to give a return gift isn't it yeah you have to return it you have to have to reciprocate you have to yeah. you have to say i love you and then the other person have to say i love you too isn't it and the two one the other it is okay isn't it i love you in word but it doesn't make any it doesn't give any happiness i love you to abada now our love is cemented isn't it separation is cemented although it's a question of time that they were, that they are going to end up in that they are going to end up stabbing from another angle observe this all those you hate are the ones whom you loved in the past do you know that all those who have caused pain hmm? hatred are the ones whom you loved in the in the past it means you didn't love in the past you were only simply attached okay who is your enemy today okay can uh, can you straight away develop enmity towards anybody you cannot develop enmity first that person has to become a friend and and then something happens and that friend turns into an enemy correct you follow what i am saying you you can't develop any enmity directly you can't become an enemy straight away you can become indifferent straight away that's all there is only indifference but you can't have an any animosity animosity comes enmity comes where when who is your enemy of today the friend of yesterday is the enemy today isn't it children talk like that no my best friend and two days later my best enemy isn't it are you know best friend apuram best no abbi kadaya sir best friend la the worst enemy ni we correct the vocabulary also isn't it children doesn't say best worst friend children say best enemy and best friend only but then we have to correct what how do we correct you should not say best enemy you should say worst enemy yeah instead of educating the child what what happened the friend became an enemy now what happened that the friend the friendship has turned into animosity selfishness entered selfishness has entered therefore what is the difference between love and attachment so many things you said you how do you say that when you beg crave demand attention from a particular person that is called attachment you crave for the attention of one person you beg for the attention from that that person and you are ready to do anything this is misunderstood as love this is not love this is selfishness this is torturing the this is torturing the other
attachment is very pleasant because in attachment you are the master and the other is a slave in love you are the one who is serving that's why love is not attractive attachment is always very attractive from another angle again i repeat love is not at all attractive attachment is very attractive why because in attachment you are the in attachment you are the master and the other is your slave the other has to serve you in love in love you have to serve the other that's why love is not attract love cannot be natural love cannot be easy because you have to you have to serve. in attachment you are the in attachment you are the master and the other becomes a the slave you can decide no see what is in attachment that is so good what is so entertaining in attachment the entertainment of attachment is what you can decide and the other and the other also and anybody who implicitly obeys you will say we have a very good understanding sir we have a very good understanding abhin enna artham that person has agreed to be my slave and continuing to remain my slave the moment the person says i am not going to be your slave anymore now what happens and people don't understand the selfishness in this and they keep promoting it as though it is something very noble and virtuous this is where sanatana comes in. not understanding the selfishness in all these things they believe that there, there is something noble in it and they continue to promote it make it look like virtues therefore attachment is natural love comes with love is not natural to one son children sir the one son vandirthilla exclusivity vandirthe appra enga love anga are able to follow At least one son children sir i have lived the whole life i am sacrificing i have lived everything i am sacrificing for them only at least that you have to acknowledge as love my child and the exclusivity vandirthanal it is no more therefore what do you understand have you ever found out the reasoning that people give for marriage and children and all that do you know what is the reasoning that people give for marriage for children what is the reasoning avarku nu othar vonu illa sir exclusivity the starting point of it is what the starting point of destruction is exclusivity and that exclusivity very soon turns into suffocation we are going to see all that later this uh, this is this is uh, if 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 we are going to talk about attachment in this topic the next lesson is beautiful attachment in attachment phase now we have to talk about attachment so the next uh, the the next chapter is going to talk about detachment so don't worry we are going to get uh, the ways to get out of the attachment also but first thing is to understand the disease right what is the disease At- attachment suffocation is the is the disease so if at all you understand one thing you had you would have understood vedanta love is not love is not natural as i am saying this nobody will accept it because your own experience says love is natural no hey come sir where is love not where is uh, it is love is not natural 
love is hard work attachment is natural correct just as is indulgence natural or discipline natural ha huh? what is natural grossest level liye discipline is difficult and indulgence is natural na at the subtler level also how can it be different it will be much more difficult at the grosser level you understand is indulgence natural or discipline natural indulgence is natural from this we derive the law idella corollary mari ipo sollitu from all this we derive a natural law a sanatana law adanude corollary idella indulgence easier discipline easier attachment easier love natural la because all this is based on a, a law the fundamental law what is the fundamental law all that is natural to a human being is detrimental all that comes natural is detrimental all that is evolutionary comes through all that is good comes through effort all that is beneficial for a human being comes only through effort all that is natural for a human being is is detrimental examples the educator tells the uneducated go get educated go get educated no isn't it you follow what i am saying so all that is not good for you is very attractive from where do we derive this law how do we derive it like this in english bhagavad gita chapter 18 amrutam visham all that is beneficial to you is like visham in the beginning and amrutam at the end all that is detrimental to you is nectar in the beginning remember that two verses chapter 18 amrutam and visham all that is detrimental to you appears like amruta in the beginning turns out to be poisonous at the end that is where intellect is needed the capacity to see the end in the beginning indulgence node end enna nu theriyaradhukku da you need an intellect the capacity to see the end of indulgence in the beginning so that you avoid indulgence that is called intellect the capacity to see the end of attachment in the beginning so that you don't get attached that is called intellect vijay purida idu per da intellect intellect na the capacity to see the end in the beginning the end in the beginning nak don't think uh, 30 years later uh, will i know what i will be and not in that sense horoscope mar mari 40 years later where i will be na therinjiruma sir na ad intellect kedaiyathu when you indulge intellect will tell you what is the end of indulgence when you are getting attached the intellect will tell you what is the end of attachment because of you having known this understanding what is understanding the capacity to know the end in the beginning you avoid it therefore in love and attachment one thing that you got to be understood is love is out of love comes out of effort attachment comes natural and anything natural detriment if unselfishness is natural effort is available tapas there is no such thing called tapas after that the word tapas comes in why lot of tapas i have to do to be selfish eh? will you say that you cannot say i have to do lot of tapas to be selfish you will say i have to do lot of tapas to become unselfish 
That's where the mathematical formula itself says it very clearly. Love plus selfishness equals attachment. Love, attachment minus selfishness equals love. Affection you have, when you remove the selfishness from the affection, it turns into love. Affection. When that affection, effort has to be made to segregate the selfishness from the affection. When, when effort is made to segregate the selfishness from the affection, then it turns into love. There is affection, but if that affection is polluted by selfishness, that affection polluted by selfishness is what is called as Attachment. You able to follow now? Understand it. Therefore, we are trying to prove how love is not natural, it comes out of effort. And dropping the selfishness is not that is not that easy. That's why two examples are given. I am coming to the examples here. Two examples are given of attachment. The second example is the parent refusing to send the child though it is beneficial to the, to the child. Why? Why? And the children also can't live without me. It's so natural that children will not want to live with the parent. It's natural. They, they, will, they will develop the wing and fly. That's natural. They have to go. The wings are clipped in earth. You follow? You keep it. If you keep them all the time around you, it means you are clipping their, their wings. What is natural? They need to. They need to. They need to fly. And when they fly, you don't fly behind them. Huh? As the attachment. Yeah. Aung America Bona, you need not go to America. They go there, good. They have gone. You need not, you need not fly, you need not fly. But sir, uh, duties are there, no? Obligations are there, no? Selfishness. All boiling down to, all boils down to selfishness. So the second example that he's giving is what? A parent refusing the growth of the children because they can't. They can't be without. See, today, it's all breaking because of what? See, at least previously, this kind of so sickening closeness nowadays, isn't it? See, previously, you can't, be, you can't have this kind of sickening closeness. After the social media, the phone and social media has made closeness so sickening. Because previously, you have to write a letter. <laughs> And you won't know whether the letter will reach that, reach that person or not, isn't it? You have to write a letter and you won't even know whether the letter will reach that, reach that person. Today you have to write a letter, blue tick or no, blue tick or lena, call panni, why this blue tick didn't come, why you didn't? Did you see? No, why? Because blue tick is not there. And somebody messages don't have blue ticks, I don't know whether they are seeing my message or not, whether they are replying, I don't know. Now I have to call them and ask, did you see my reply? What a expectation it is. Hmm. you follow? Previously, this kind of suffocating, suffocating closeness. This is attachment. So what is happening? 
every half an hour what happened what happened what happened what will happen every day what will happen nothing will happen every day isn't it or something is happening all the time but then you have to keep asking what happened what happened oh they are not even asking what they they don't even care what happened sir and if they start caring what happening suffocating sir hmm. are able to follow if they start caring you will feel suffocated if they don't care you will feel indifferent why because attachment is on your focus is on yourself selfishness the focus attention is on yourself and that is that is selfishness and the selfishness is suffocating so the first example the first example is the ceo sending the injured uh, worker in his in his car that is love that person is in pain what is the best way to get the person out of the pain that is that is love what is attachment what is attachment in love you identify with the pain of another in attachment you are identified with attachment le or pain irukudhu in attachment you you have identified with what your pain when you identify with your pain and using the other to get rid of your pain that is called attachment vedanta comes and says why are you in pain forget about using the other and all first of all why are you in pain you are in pain you will be in pain when you turn when you turn selfish when you turn selfish self centered you will be in pain and when you are in pain what you will look for when you are in pain you will only look for your thing one looks into one's personal interest rather than the other this is called attachment and then he concluded by quoting oliver goldsmith the vicar of wakefield love is an emptier sound the modern fair ones jest on earth and seen or only found to warm the turtles nest what is warming the turtles nest the turtle will lay the egg and and you know those things no they try to warm it till it gets or once the utility is over once the utility is over move on human beings love should not be like human beings love is qualitatively different what is it the pain of the other causes pain to you and you are constantly thinking of how to how to help the other you are not worried about your pain when we say you are not worried about your pain because you have no pain because of you being unselfish you have because of you being unselfish you have no pain because of you having no pain then only you are able to focus then only you can focus on the pain of another when you are in pain you cannot focus on the pain of another that's why vedanta says take care of yourself first get rid of your pain first but that is very selfish no sir vedanta is promoting selfishness no take care of yourself what is taking care of you one when you are in pain you will only get attached and use the other so if you want to love you should not be in pain 
and when will you not be in pain only when you turn only when you turn unselfish and what does unselfish means what i can do to the other what i can do to the other what i can do to the other it's an affection please understand when we introduced this chapter itself or this book itself we spoke about this we are not talking about the action actual expression of love we are talking about the internal state of affection remember in all these classes in all these things when we are talking about we are not talking about the expression of it we are talking about what should be your inner inner state because expression depends upon desha kala patra etc all that we are going to see much much later don't worry about expressing it to a particular person it's not all that here we are trying to understand love means an inner and inner state where you are unselfish and unselfishness is not natural love is possible only when you are unselfish and unselfish isn't natural since unselfish is in natural what is not natural love is also not natural love is natural la illa abram bhakti enga poru the highest form of thing is bhakti we are going to talk about that also at the end bhakti is much much more difficult difficult and yet people believe easiest thing is bhakti da sir romba easy inda inda knowledge illa dhan kashtam ungala illa pesine irupanga onnum prayojan what is the easiest thing it's like saying love is easy is love is easy love is not easy at least now you are able to understand no love is not love is not natural what comes natural attachment selfishness comes therefore love versus attachment natural versus effort natural na detriment oliver goldsmith put it very beautifully in a poetic way which he is quoting and what is friendship but a name a charm that lulls to sleep a shade that follows wealth or fame but leaves the rich to weep and love is still an empty air sound the modern fair ones jest on earth and seen are only found to warm the turtles nest wherever there is a separation understand attachment selfishness full stop wherever there is a separation all separations anywhere in the past to present to future the law doesn't change selfishness and separation keeps happening all the time with this we conclude this topic love versus attachment next week we continue with the three the three points do we have anything yes mala has posted few questions where do the feeling of hurt pointing fingers dominating others aggression etc fit in in the analysis of thoughts leading to attachment when thoughts become uncontrollable the vega brings about an expectation initially there is no expectation intensified thought brings about an expectation if it is 100 thoughts it will not lead to an expectation i'm just giving arbitrary numbers don't take literally when the thoughts are intense expectation becomes that much so where do the feeling comes from in the analysis of thoughts leading to attachment the problem is not doing the self analysis or the assessment of the external self analysis two things when we 
when we talk about the world we use the word assessment when we talk about ourselves we use the word analysis so assessment and analysis where is the problem not doing assessment and not doing analysis is the problem second you spoke about dropping the expectation when two persons meet how do it is called a welfare association clear all apartments have something called welfare association maximum enna nadakuvanga maximum ego maximum fight maximum politics happens only in the welfare association enna everybody is wise everybody is smart everybody knows what is right what is wrong what is good what is bad in such an in such an apartment that i am living in as a mala second question what should i do adalla we are going to discuss later that's what i concluded by saying we are not discussing here what to do what to do will be discussed at the at the end only not not now because to do it rightly you need to understand the concept clearly first when the concept itself is not clear any amount of telling you this is what you should do this is what you should not do will be of no no help so she is talking about her welfare association problem second question third question love means welfare you know working for the welfare of others so what do i do i continue to give them something for the welfare mala is giving something out of love mala is giving something what is mala giving out of love எது கொடுக்கூடாதோ அதான் வேதாந்தா பிரின்சிபிள் அவுட் ஆஃப் லவ் மாலா கிவ்ஸ் வேதாந்தா பிரின்சிபிள் டு தி அதர் நாட் ஓன்லி தே ஆர் நாட் அக்செப்டிங் இட் தே ஆர் அப்யூசிங் மீ ஆல்சோ ஃபார் இட் வாட் வில் ஐ டூ மாலா வேதாந்தா பிரின்சிபிள் எல்லாம் புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டு உள்ள வச்சுக்கணும் not to give it to not to give it to other you understand the vedanta principle you live it you you live that kind of a life within yourself because you do not know who is the adhikari you do not know the dosage in which they can take just because you hear something it is like you know people pass on their prescription you know people do that mala you know people do that no you should how can you, you nobody understands that they are they are transferring poison a prescription given to me is medicine only to me i cannot pass on my prescription to the other how can i pass my prescription to the other it has worked for me therefore you also take ah huh? are able to follow that is why most of the people giving me medication i just nod the head yes 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 and i don't take because poison because if it has worked for i will go to the doctor and if that doctor prescribes me then i will take it why because i do not know the i do not know the intensity of the disease i do not know the package therefore prescriptions cannot be prescriptions cannot be shared don't share your prescription what is the prescription vedanta is a prescription all the vedantic knowledge is the prescription and what you should do you should keep it to you follow the medi- you follow the medication you do it and then stay and then stay quiet yadyata charati shreshtah 
ತತ್ತೇವ ಇತರ ಜನ ಸಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ಲೋಕಸ್ತದನು ವರ್ತತೆ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಯು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಲ ಚಲುಂಗ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ because that's what he thinks but it's not for the welfare correct but uh, for oh. an alcoholic uh, guy uh, if i take him to the forum for to remove the alcoholism he will not like it correct so what's the point in taking it so it should be welfare for the others plus it should also be accepted welfare for the other is love accepted not accepted doing not doing and all depends on your obligations here we are talking about love we are not talking about obligations mala no, i am talking about we are talking about in this context here the chapter the lesson is only about the concept of what love is not how you demonstrate love not what you do as love we are not talking about demonstration of love we are not talking about how to show love we are not talking about all that that right i concluded before i took up the questions i didn't see these questions but i concluded by saying in all these when we talk about a concept you will talk about the application we are not talking about the application we are talking about only talking about what love is and when we talk about what love is we give some examples so take it in the take it in the context of we are not talking about the application of love we are talking about understanding understand are you okay malla sir one, one more point sir yes uh, this uh, you know you the thoughts giving me the desire to own it and the desire to own it leading to some expectation and then that resulting in the attachment that yes. under definition layer yes uh, this is aggression pointing fingers blaming yes arrogant adala vandu what is the expectation if i get all that can you can you, you get see aggression comes only when you don't get it when will you get aggressive if if the other is obeying your orders will will you get aggressive if the other remains your slave you don't get aggressive no when do you turn aggressive you want the other to be your slave and the other refuses to be your slave what if other person gives the aggression to me and i get hurt it okay, means you are weak it means you are attached you are having the problem of attachment you are weak you are dependent you are weak if a person makes a remark and that remark is affecting you Oh, in okay. you in you you have an expectation what people should not use this what is your expectation people should use nice words ah. respectful words ah, correct sahasra namada use pananum yeah purida ipo avula da so hurt comes when sahasra namada is not used hurt will hurt will come that's all very simple she laughed she understood <laughs> sir last week also i asked a couple of questions sir last week enna marundichu i didn't i don't is there anything from last week uh, last sunday class but for oh, that was sunday class huh? sunday class vandu sunday ku vechikla okay fine yeah. and I, i don't know the flow i don't remember what we are even studying sunday I don't even know what we are studying today. okay yeah with this we conclude for today and we continue with uh, the three poems next one